Hey, so it's Jason here. Um, new EV6, <laughs> first edition technically means, you know, one of the first production models of it, and the, but it was delivered to the dealer like only two days ago. So um, I don't know how that worked out, but apparently that was a very long delivery cycle. Um, I didn't order the car, the dealer did. I ordered like six of these things. And I was lucky enough to buy one over the weekend. Now, however, the software version in this car was apparently outdated. So one of the things about the Kia is, is that they don't currently support over the air updates on stuff. So if I go to, for example, my setup button here and I look at, uh, what is it? Software, I think it is. Uh, here we go. Software information update. Standard class Gen 4 and 5W navigation, software version, CVE USA, apparently an old version of the software from like, I don't know, I think he said it was the guy on the phone that connected, it was like December. This is interesting, update. Okay, so you have to do this um, with the USB card. If you go to the Kia update website, it makes it downloads a software product to your computer so you gotta have a windows machine or a mac and a 64 gig card it preps the card and now we're going to update the operating i think it's the operating system with the maps they call it a map update i think it's the actual computer system um the full the full software stack so hopefully i don't break my car in the process of doing this we're gonna record this and see what happens so the first thing i do is pull my nifty nifty data cable for my iPhone. Okay, so now I got the USB there. I have the update is turned on. Okay, we have update now. That's the 220504. So 2022, uh, five, January, February, March, April, May. So from May 4th, so May 4th. 2022 that's current right and i was on a, a a november of 2021 so even though they did the pdi on this car they didn't do the upgrade um the update of the current software version is what they told me on at, at connect do an update now i'm going to pray that this works it's going through system update and i'll see you on the other side Okay, so the system is now rebooting after it did the system update. It hasn't actually updated the files, it's just it's going through its prep process. So I'm watching the prep process. I'm watching the Kia screen, I don't know how long this takes. Okay, updating map. Let's see if it gets through all five stages. And uh, if I got a drivable car at the end. So while this car is updating its Blue Link navigation system, and I think it affects this thing here also. It doesn't appear to be affecting the climate control system. Um, I can click on nav, but I don't think I can be able to touch any of this stuff at all. Obviously, I can't get to the, to the radio, but the climate control system is still activated. And I can also put this car in drive and drive it, right? So if I go to drive, I'm ready to drive the car, even though I'm upgrading the nav system. So there is some separation between the IVI and the telematics and driver control system and the environmental controls, which is actually really cool um, because my other car, the Polestar, which uses Android Automotive, one, the environmental control system is part of the IVI system. So if the IVI system is down or reboots, you have no air conditioning. Um, and I'm not 100% sure we can put this car, that car into drive and drive away. Because when it does over the updates, it's not just updating the IVI, it's updating the telematic system, the, the energy system control system and all that other stuff. Okay, so now it's getting into level five of the, uh, the software updates. So I'm saying UCOM. Now I just saw a lane assist check function go off um, in the main telematics information system here. So it is, looks like it is actually updating some system components as it gets to the end of this process. So you can start the process. Obviously the other thing is you, while the process is happening, you can't use your backup cameras, right? Uh, the lane changing cameras were fine, but the backup cameras you can't see on the main display. Um, so the lane assist system 
is obviously somehow connected to the, the, the IVI. So as we're hitting stage five, probably want to be parked someplace where in case you have a problem. So I'm actually in right by my Kia dealership now, um, just in case something bad happens, I'm here. I'm um, just chilling out, looking at Facebook and crap. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm 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 hopeful things will resolve themselves shortly. So it looks like I saw something about updating, and it says reading USB. It's doing a data restore now. Interesting, and I had all the the bad stuff that I saw here before is now gone. And how you doing? What's up? Just just doing a software update, making sure that just in case something breaks, I'm here and you guys can rescue me. Oh, okay, cool. cool. I just got this FE, um, you know, this weekend. Beautiful, man. I bought it at a Miami dealership. Apparently, uh, I don't, I mean, there's like no availability on these cars, right? So it's like I had to go all the way to Miami, South Miami to pick it up. But I live in Coral Springs, so you guys are going to be my service dealer. So. Awesome, brother. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful vehicle. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Just by to admire it. Yeah, I mean the, the the service deal said they said they did that PDI, yeah. the prep, but they didn't update the, the software to the latest version. So I'm doing it now. They they had a, they left it at November software. Really? Yeah, it was the craziest thing. That's odd. Yeah, because yeah. I know they're at like May software on this car already. It's like yeah. it's, yeah. it's gorgeous, man. It's an awesome car. It's, it's, it's a really cool car. Yeah. 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 Day, Storing data. Yukon just pulled out right in the back of me and my my and my 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 alarms didn't go off sensor alarm so therefore the uh the backup sensors the rear whatever you call that the rear safety approach sensors whatever you call them are not working right now because this thing is doing the data restore so yeah you can drive it but you probably want to be someplace in case something goes on um during the process. So I'll let, I'll let you know in a minute when this is done, hopefully. I'm gonna reboot and everything's up. Um, see if I can do my, I can actually, okay, I can activate the driver attention systems. Um, looks like we're back up and running. Um, we have a notification here, what's new, new software version for 504. Um, there's an audio system update on details. Let me see what, what we've got. So we'll hit details, software version, route options added. So okay, so this is quite a few bits of software, not just a nav system. Route options. When searching for destination, you can check and select your type of route you want. Fastest cost effective. That's cool. My wife will like that. Improve voice recognition screen. Well, we know the voice recognition is kind of crappy, but let's see if it gets any better. Is split screen with a separate from the map screen. Meet the new voice recognition character, your own personal assistant. That's cute. Improve radio preset order editing and user interface. Station logos for radio screen. So that's interesting. So they've added a bunch of stuff there. In any case, we're back into the main user interface. Everything looks good. That was relatively a painless process compared to the updates I've seen on other cars. Um, so we're back up and running. I'm at the killer dealership. I guess I could go in and say hi and introduce myself, but I think I'll probably just go to the bagel store. It's a Sunday. Well, that's how she works, guys. Um, hopefully, you don't have to do this too often, and hopefully, they'll get the over-the-air system working soon so you don't have to get your USB drive working. Um, but I can pull my USB drive and now I can put my data cable back. Yeah.